This is Kayvon Thibodeau here from the New York Giants reporting to you from Glendale, Arizona, pre-Super Bowl 57. Now let's take a look at the tail of the tape. When it comes to run game, I got to give it to the Eagles. When you talk about that front five, I mean, they literally block as a unit. You know, they get pushed off the ball. And it's going to be really tough for guys like Chris Jones to, to battle back on that by itself. Now, when you look at what the Chiefs have been able to do in the run game, it hasn't been real flash, hasn't been great, but Pacheco has done a great job getting downfield and breaking off tackles. So it's going to be a, a real challenge to see what the Eagles can do in the tackling game. If I had to choose, I'd probably end up going with the Eagles. Why? Because they're in the NFC, and I think their run game is, is prime and ready to go for the Super Bowl. So when you talk about the Eagles' pass game, you got to start with Jalen Hurts. I mean, he's so versatile in what he can do with his legs and what he can do as far as a throwing game. So, I mean, the playbook's all his. And then when you look at the weapons that he has, from A.J. Brown to Devontae Smith to Watkins, I mean, his arsenal is unbelievable. When you're looking at the Chiefs, I feel like Patrick Mahomes is going to be the tail of this game. You know, he has to have one of his biggest games. Although his weapons aren't there, he's done a tremendous job with Travis Kelsey and the rest of his wide receiver core and getting them open and, and making them look great. If I had to pick one, I got to go with the Eagles. You know, Patrick Mahomes is great, but the Eagles have a great all-around core. When you talk about the front seven, I don't think it gets any better than what the Eagles have. I mean, starting with the edges with Hassan Reddick, Josh Sweat, then you go to the inside from Adamic and Sue to Fletcher Cox to even big man Jordan Davis. I mean, they have a bunch of tools and a bunch of guys who can who can fit in and play high-quality football. Now, when you look at the Chiefs, I mean, you can't sleep on him, right? George Kalaftis is a rookie. I've seen him, you know, grow through college and now being at the big stage, he's been playing great ball. Then you look at Chris Jones. I mean, he's been an unstoppable bull up the middle. Frank Clark on the other side is going to give you some pressure, who's going to give you, you know, who's going to set that edge. But we're going to have to see how the Chiefs play as a unit. So if I had to pick a squad, I'm going with the Eagles. When you look at the secondary, I, I want to start with the Chiefs, right? Trent McDuffie has been playing great ball. He's a rookie. He's been coming out and stood the test of time. The Chiefs don't have the greatest secondary, but I know when they play as you and they come together, they can rise to the occasion. Now with the Eagles, I mean, it's kind of like a star studded show. I want to compare them to the Grammys because all the stars are out. From Darius Slade to CJ Gardner Johnson to Bradbury, they have a tremendous amount of talent in the back end. And now being able to put it all together in this final game, I hate to say it, but we're going 4-0 with the Eagles. When it comes down to coaching, I think there's going to be a real tight-knit game, right? When you look at Andy Reid, he's a great offensive-minded coach. He knows how to dial it up. He can mix and match players. He can get mismatches the way he wants them. But then again, when you look at Nick Sirianni, he has the players, right? He's been doing a great job coaching them. He's brought the best out of his players. So now to see them stand the test of time in the Super Bowl, I mean, it's going to be a tough match. When you look at these two coaches, Andy Reid is a legend, but when you look at the game and the Super Bowl and how it played today, it's a player's game. So I don't think the coaches will really impact it as much as these players, you know, rising to the occasion. As we know with football, it's any given Sunday, so anything can happen. But I'm going to take my chances with the Eagles. And that's been your sleep number, tail of the tape.